this year's selection of best new restaurants illustrates the variety of options available in St. Louis eating scene, ranging from fast casual to fine dining. You'll be happy whether you order a barrio taco or sit down to a multi-course dinner. These are the top 10 new 2022 restaurants in St. Louis, Missouri. Check this out. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10, Casa Don Alfonso. The first American outpost of the Lacarino family's renowned Don Alfonso's 1890, a two-star Michelin restaurant in Sant'Agata, Italy, wants to offer a taste of the Sorrento coast to the Midwest, focusing on cooking styles of Campania. And you'll feel moved the moment you walk into one of the city's most beautiful restaurants with a massive open kitchen surrounded by a copper ceiling and hand-painted tile backsplash, as well as an impressive display of 600 hand-blown glass wisteria leaves suspended over the main dining room. Number 9. The Lucky Accomplice the Lucky Accomplice offers a relaxing, welcoming atmosphere with an approachable a la carte cuisine. Eli and his crew have taken the same mentality across concepts to discover inventive ways to prepare what the farm offers. The cuisine is centered on vegetables, and nearly all of the restaurant's produce comes from Eat Here St. Louis and Double Star Farms in Benton, Illinois. The menu changes so frequently because we want to keep pushing the envelope, but also because everything on the menu comes from the farm, Eli explained. So, if our carrot farmer doesn't have any carrots, we have to change our carrot meal. Number 8. Ballyards Meat and Provisions you may enjoy dinner and a show at Balliard's Meat and Provisions new location as long as you're interested in a decent cut of meat and aren't too afraid. All of the local pasture-raised meats that customers have come to anticipate from the whole animal shop can be found in the large butcher shop. The Tom Tom combines traditional sliced turkey breast with Colby Jack, pickled red onion, fresh greens, and Judah mayo while the pig pen layers charred stew piled pulled pork with sweet and sour cabbage and a sprinkle of gochujang mayo. Number seven, tacos la jefa. Tender slow cooked goat, or occasionally beef, is packed with cheese on corn tortillas, which are baked to crisp perfection over a griddle and served with a bowl of consomme to dip it all in. Tacos La Jefa is the only place in St. Louis where you can get an authentic taste of Jalisco cuisine. The pop-up taco restaurant, which is mostly open on Saturdays, inside the Urban Eats Incubator in downtown, provides quesibiria in both chicken and beef birria, available in tacos or as a plate from a family recipe. Number 6. Terror Tacos the newest vegan eatery on St. Louis's South Grand Boulevard combines horror and heavy metal. Terror Tacos, the first restaurant from brothers Bradley Roach and Brian Roche, who spell their surnames differently, offers a very different experience than other plant-based eateries, which often emphasize love, happiness, and bright colors. Whether you like the theme or not, the tacos are unquestionably tasty. The recipes have been fine-tuned, and the birria tacos from housemaid Seitan, marinated in vegan consomme, are now in great demand. Number 5. Timothy's The Restaurant Driving along Olive Boulevard in St. Louis County, the plazas and chains tend to blur together. But one restaurant stands out. Timothy's The Restaurant, the creation of friends and industry veterans Stephen Manns, Tim Metz, and Steve Olson, offers an exquisite dining experience unrivaled in Creve Cure, Missouri. When visitors approach the venue, they are greeted with a warm greeting and the thoughtful decor and gorgeous tablescapes hint at the great dinner to arrive. Number 4. Tempest Tempest was able to please guests with a dine-in experience by carefully considering the most practical, effective, and appealing methods to package and bag each meal for carryout. Ben Group, a James Beard semifinalist and culinary Olympian, says that running his own restaurant has been tremendously rewarding, but it's also a chance for him to pursue his restaurant business ambitions while enabling his crew to offer their own ideas in a collaboration and inclusive kitchen. The collaboration and the fact that Tempest hasn't pigeonholed itself as one kind of cooking is evident in the variety of wonderful seasonal dishes. Number 3. Songbird 
Songbird owners Chris Meyer and Mike Miller are the masterminds of the city's most famous breakfast sandwich. The combo comprises aged white cheddar, crispy bacon, a fried egg, sea salt, and a drizzle of honey and sold at the Tower Groves Farmer's Market by the couple who also run counterculture and prepared foods business field to fire. The sandwich quickly became a model of simplicity and the significance of finding local, high-quality ingredients and eager consumers lined up in droves for it every Saturday. The combo is now a regular menu item at Songbird, but there are plenty of other intelligent and tasty options. Number 2. Chiang Mai as meals like cow soy and tom yum gradually become known to Midwest diners as more common takeaway favorites like pad thai, St. Louis has witnessed a boom of eateries dedicated to showcasing the various taste profiles of Thailand's four provinces. Choose dishes like house-made sai oa, yang hong le, or aromatic thai soy with red coconut curry, egg noodles, and soft, slow-braised chicken drumsticks to taste the cuisine's unique taste, which are defined by sour, salty, and bitter aspects. Number 1. O Plus O Pizza The pizzas, a crispy, thin-crust variety shaped by both Roman and New Haven cuisines that head chef Mikey Rust worked on for nearly 10 months, are a great attraction in their own right. House-made noodles, whether in the basic but magnificent Takia e Pepe or the Ochi de Lupo with butternut squash, crab, apple, tarragon, and brown butter, contribute to O plus O pizza's pasta becoming the best in town. The Carzetti in particular is stunning. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.